Green color, green color, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Good morning, everyone. So, how do you do, children? I hope you all are fine. Now, here is my green color. Check out your green color around yourself. First, this chapter is all about green color only. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Green objects, imagine, they are present around you. Maybe in the past or in your school campus or outside your balcony or inside your home. Any idea? Well, I'll tell you this. It's a plant. We are talking about a plant. Chapter 1. Plants around us. They are present everywhere around us. Do you know? Plants are eternal beauty of our mother earth. We cannot deny the fact that they are so beautiful just like you. And they are very useful also. But do we need to know this, what they actually are? Yes. Plants are living organisms which are deep rooted inside the earth and they are having a part like stems, leaves, roots, flowers, etc. Now, one very important thing. Plants are very useful for us. You know how? Plants, they provide us too many things. Just have a look at this. Plants gives us fruits, pulses, vegetables, spices, beverages and medicines. These all stuffs are for humans as well as for animals. Plants provide us so many things which we cannot count on our fingers. Now some benefits of plants. Plants provide us oxygen which is the basic necessity of every human being or I can say of every living organism. It improves the quality of air. It also absorbs carbon dioxide and they prepare their own food. Do you know plants can't move just like humans? They are deep rooted inside the earth but they can grow, they can reproduce and they can make their own food. But how? They'll not go to the kitchen to make their food. They'll prepare their food in the presence of sunlight, water, soil plus air. This is how they prepare their food. But for these kind of preparations, certain things are required and certain atmosphere is required. Now have a look. But before that, let me tell you one thing. Plants are of two types, big plants and small plants. Big one you can see, mango, coconut, bean, etc. And small one, grasses, aloe vera and rose. Here is an example of aloe vera and certain sort of grasses. Now the factors which are needed for plant, water, air, soil and sunlight. Water is essential for humans as well as plants because both are living organisms. In order to survive and in order to grow they need water and air as when they absorb too much of carbon dioxide to prepare their own food it releases out oxygen for the human. And soil. Better quality of soil must be used for the growth of a plant. Last one is sunlight. Plants need sunlight to grow. It gives them, it gives them energy. It also helps the plant to make their own food. So, as of now, I'll end this chapter here only and your homework will be that you will write down at least five big trees and small trees of your choice. You will draw them and color it very well. Thank you.